Mothers love everyone and welcome to our daily devotional for February 26th from our daily walk by F.B. Meyer. This one's entitled, The Exalted Lord. Verse for today is Isaiah 16, 1. That's Isaiah, or I mean Isaiah 6, 1. That's Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. We live in troubled times, but always in human history, when outward events seem most distracting and distressing. God's servants are drawn in to the secret place of the Most High, and are shown the reassuring vision of God's overruling providence and the ordered regularity of his eternal reign. When the Lamb was passing through dark distress, and revolution was imminent, Isaiah beheld the stability of God's throne. It was high and lifted up, far above all other authority, power, or dominion, in heaven, on earth, or under the earth. It was crowned with love. Above it stood the seraphim. Seraph is derived from fire, and the seraphim stand for radiant love. If the throne stands for stability, for judgment, and for power, then above all these attributes, and overarching him who sits there, is love. This is the loftiest conception possible to mortals. Love supreme. The lamb that was slain is in the midst of the throne. The one who was chosen out of all Israel to see was Isaiah. In all humility, he ascended the temple steps, hustled by the crowds that went there as a mere religious form. Any of them appeared to need a revealing vision more than he did, but it was the man who had seen, who now saw the Lord. It was the one saint in all Israel who appeared to be most in touch with God, who was brought into still closer touch. The rest saw only the temple, the high altar, and the ritual, but he saw the skirts of glory filling every cranny of the holy place. Let us not be satisfied with the outward and sensuous, with the ritual, however splendid, with sermons, however magnificent. Those who are humble and persistent in their quest for God will hear notes which other ears cannot catch, will detect a presence that evades ordinary sight, will enter the realm of the spirit, which is closed, to the outward observer. The world may be full of tumult. The floods have lifted up their voice, but the Lord on high is mighty, and he shall overcome, for through death, resurrection, and ascension, he is Lord of lords and King of kings. Our prayer for today. We cannot understand the meaning of the darkness and tumult around us, but we know that Thou art love, and that Thou dost reign. May we see Thee raised above principality and power, might and dominion. Glory and blessing, honor and power be unto Thee, O Son of God, who art the man amid the sapphire throne. Amen. I hope today's devotional blesses you and strengthens you. I'll paste the scripture for today's devotional here. As always, get out your Bible, read over it, and let the Holy Spirit rail in your heart. If you need a Bible, email me. I'll be happy to mail one to you. Don't forget to pray for the children. They always need it. Our fellow brothers and sisters around the world, and those still lost in the darkness so that they too 
could see the light. May our Father bless you and keep you. May his grace shine upon you and give you peace. I'll see you next time.